Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm delighted to be joined by Letitia, who goes by Raw Juicy Fit on social media. And Letitia is a certified holistic nutritionist, but we don't like to label too much here. We just <laughs> like to live life and have fun. But yeah, she helps people reverse chronic diseases and all sorts of things, gets them living their best life again. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for Letitia. She wasn't always healthy and vibrant. At a young age of 13, Letitia had a lot of health issues, which we can dive into um, in a moment. But yeah, she's been on a journey herself, and now she helps others to regain their health. Um, but yeah, without further ado, Letitia, how did your health journey start? Because 13 is really young to have a lot of health issues. Yeah. And uh, yeah, how did you get started on this journey? Um, yeah, because of like the health problems, basically. I think there are only like two reasons why people change. <laughs> and the one reason is, yeah, you're in pain, you have like struggles. Mm. And the other reason is you have a vision for yourself. And yeah, otherwise <laughs> people are not changing. So basically for me, I was, it was suffering. Um, I had a lot of like acne and allergies and yeah, a lot of like Crohn's, IBS, SIBO, you know, like a lot of constipation and no one could really help me. And it was, it was tough, you know, like, because, um, also like no one really like, yeah, could like give me something that was really helping me. And yeah, then I need to like find out for myself <laughs> what was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that seems to be the thing for most people, like the pain. And it's very true. Like it's rare. We can just kind of embark on on a future vision without pain um so yeah what, so how did you what was like the next steps for you so obviously you had all these issues but how did how did you get started or like what sort of things did you try yes i started um with the paleo diet then and like yeah i uh, excluded gluten from my diet and dairy products and all that stuff and it really helped me like my skin got better but i also like felt for all these health traps you know i ate like a lot of nuts and seeds and flax seeds and apple cider vinegar, you know, and a lot of salt as well. And I didn't really know how to really detox, you know. And I also was into, sometimes I did like one week only smoothies and soups, for example, to really cleanse my body. <laughs> and then, you know, I put like coconut milk into my smoothie, you know, like the fattest possible thing you can put in there. And yeah, for me, it was like just... Um, yeah, I did a lot of mistakes, but I learned from them. So, um, yeah, and then I found Medical Medium after like years and years and after parasites and antibiotics and uh, destroying my gut, basically. <laughs> and um, then I learned about, okay, what is detox? Okay, fat-free, salt-free, okay, <laughs> let's get into it. Let's drink celery juice. And yeah, of course, and then I had like a lot of... Um, yeah, also not the best time with detoxing, of course, because there was like so much stuff inside my body, like bacteria, viruses, heavy metals, you know, and everything needs to come out. And before it can get better, it get worse always. Like I had like also eczema on my arms and oh my God. And also like I was so bloated. I was like, I looked like pregnant for five years, you know, and, uh, you know, and not having answers and oh, it was horrible. Yeah. Mm. So what do you think were like the biggest things that helped improve your situation? Um, yeah, I think really like not eating fats anymore because I like I was overdoing fats a lot. I had a high fat diet and also the doctors told me, yeah, you need these oils and my skin was so dry and I, I thought, oh my God, I can't like, um, I need more oil, you know, <laughs> because my skin was so dry, but basically it was just too much. I was just overloading myself. And um, when you have like a weak digestion, it's also like nuts are like so hard to digest and I didn't soak them, <laughs> you know, I did not do anything with them. So um, yeah, it was just like too heavy. Um, and yeah, then I would say to get also like really into juicing yeah, juicing and then um, also like later on then juice fasting and later on then water fasting. So really like, um, because the body is basically the healer of itself. So yeah, it's better to like really let the body like do its thing. And it's also like, yeah, very natural. Like every other animal is like living in that way, you know? <laughs> mm, absolutely. I think like you said earlier, like detox is actually a good thing, but a lot of people, they get scared when they have these symptoms. So like what kind of symptoms did you have 
um because some people sometimes people like they they think like they're actually getting worse but like you say it's, it's necessary so what what are like common symptoms that you experienced or you see like other people experience yeah like um a body odor like of course like smell like a lot <laughs> definitely oh my god um and also um yeah i got like lymphatic problems so i was gaining weight because of the toxins um and also i had like rashes on my stomach on my skin of course i mean like the skin is like the biggest area where the toxins can come out so um, i had a black tongue and also um yeah because of the heavy metals basically mm. um, yeah and i just like a lot of bloating um and then of course like diarrhea like for months <laughs> oh my god uh yeah but basically everything needs to come out you know like um and also like i was like really like chronic fatigue before i got into like juice fasting and all that stuff and it's a bit counterintuitive because like medical medium is saying yeah uh, you need to take care of your adrenals and uh you know like fasting is not good and I was like so tired all the time like every meal I was like I had to lay down in bed you know because I was so fucking tired and um yeah and then when I got into juicing it was like hard of course like oh my god like not eating like I was like <gasps> I was going crazy you know like uh, only like the thought was like stressing me out and but it really like in the end it helped me so much to really flush out the toxins out of my body and it's really like the detox is in steps you know it's it's starting with um yeah first try like only fruits and vegetables maybe try salt free fat free and then you can go deeper and deeper you know like because that's why um, a lot of people like don't get it you know when i also talk about water fasting because um you know, they think like, oh my God, that's not good. And yeah, water fasting is not good when you don't have a healthy diet, you know, because then you will eat worse after. And then you will like, okay, I can eat McDonald's today and tomorrow I can do like three days on water and then it's fine. And it's not like that, you know, like it's really, um, yeah, we need to really cleanse and we can really benefit from water fasting and um, from juice fasting if we cleanse enough before and then it will be also not so hard you know like my cleansing process was over like five six years you know like it was it was really hard you know like and there were days where I was like oh my god I can't go out of the bathroom you know because there were like things coming out you know like yeah mm. <laughs> yeah Arnold Eric talks about it doesn't he in the mucusless diet um, just how it's easier to actually fast like when when you're healthier like you say um, Super easy, you know now when I fast I can do stuff I have like so mental clarity and I can like mm. I can even do yoga and I can go for a hike You know, it's like amazing what the body can do and um, Yeah, but the f water fasting is also like in like steps, you know, like Sometimes and then for example, like I really had a big detox at my third long water fast they had like a lot of mucus coming out of my system and yeah so it's not always like the same <laughs> so mm. yeah so would you say like the fasting is when you kind of got that just that final little bit of healing because obviously did you do like raw foods prior medical medium juicing and then would you say like fasting was like an extra level like yeah water fasting is definitely like an end level like to really get into like healing the body organs like the body parts that are not functioning you know i had always like a wisdom tooth that was not healing when i was um 17 and yeah it was like a problem like for over six seven years and then during one water fast it really like healed and it, it was hurting so much it was like incredible like yeah and i think the body is so fascinating because the body prioritized what's needed you know at that time and i also had like a lot of back pain because of my digestion and when I did like my first water fast, oh my God, I couldn't like even walk because my back was hurting so much. And there was like, I really felt how my body's fixing something, like fixing my, I don't know what, but I really like, oh my God, I couldn't like even like walk. I had to lay down in bed and yeah. Mm. So yeah have you ever so done a water fast? I haven't personally, I, I really, when I was at the start of my journey, I really wanted to do one with Lauren Lockman. Um, mm. But then I realized like, I was already really lean and skinny and I you know if I did that it'd probably like kill me <laughs> truth be told um and I don't think people need to do like ones like 30 days 40 days stuff like that but uh no I've done like one day here and there sometimes when I'm traveling I'll fast like on the plane 
but no, yeah, no. I'm gonna show you it's the best you know you don't have a jet lag that's why I love water fasting so mm. much I think this is amazing like you just don't have a jet lag you can just sleep in a plane and yeah everything's easy and yeah, yeah. I love that as well yeah I think the CIA or there's some government organization that actually they get their soldiers to um fast on the plane like you say like so they don't get jet lag it's yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah that's uh, okay. i didn't know that yeah, yeah you know i also don't like when they put my food through the scanner you know like mm. you know, just like microwaving my food you know like yeah no no definitely not <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i fully understand that but would you say like um a water fast is more difficult than like a juice fast so I would say in a juice fast you have a lot of energy, so you can function, you can go to work, you can do mm. stuff. And during a water fast it's more like, okay, you're low in energy and everything is like a bit exhausting and it's more time to really reflect on your things and also you can really get insights during a water fast, like deep insights about your life, about mm. what you want, about your vision, why you're here on this planet. So um, it's really magical. like power fasting is incredible especially when you really like when you're not on your phone you know <laughs> so yeah it's very but cool. of course it also gets a bit boring you know because we of course we're humans we want something to do <laughs> and um yeah so it's it can be like also like really challenging you know i love water fasting when i'm for example like traveling also like for example road trips so not i'm like, not when i drive of course but when someone else is driving and then i can see the landscape and i can listen to music and then i can really get in touch with myself and i think it's super nice like if you have in a long bus tour or something and then you do like a seven day water fast and you just see a lot and you experience something but it's like you're just sitting you know like <laughs> so it's super nice it's my mm -hmm. favorite to do yeah yeah. And did you experience like any emotional detox when um, you did like a juice fast or a water fast? Because I remember when I did um, seven days on like just watermelon, I remember like, I think it was like day five or something. It was just random, like angry emotions and things coming up. So yeah. yeah. Have you experienced yeah. that? Yeah, definitely. Like a lot of stuff is coming up, like old emotions, old triggers. And yeah, the, th yeah, the stuff wants to come out. That's amazing. I think um, also like how the stored emotions are in the body like can be released through fasting because of course old cells like emotions are stored in the old cells and when we fast of course we lose weight the old waste is going away and of course it will do something especially i think uh, when i start to work with clients and when i just say to them okay maybe we can do like fat free and we start to be fat free now and fruits and vegetables only um then like after the fourth day or fifth day of fat free like there's really like it's tough you know like they got mood swings and it's it's not easy you know <laughs> and it's mm -hmm. been a long journey so i know how it is i really like i experienced like every everything with it you know like yeah mm. and would you recommend people just completely cut out um like overt fats like avocados nuts seeds oils for like a period of time just to to mm. um heal yes nuts definitely and avocado not yeah yeah for of course like for two weeks or three days that you're like completely fat free for a period of time that would be awesome um and then like after four weeks completely completely fat free you can like edit it in again like but oils you know like we only have oils because it's like a machine you know like we have machines and um for example um, one tablespoon i don't know how many olives it is but I guess like 60 olives or something, you know, one tablespoon of olive oil. And when I make your salad and when I put like 60 olives in there, you would say like, what the fuck, <laughs> you yeah. know? And with oil, we're like, Pfft. we put everything inside, you know? And uh, yeah, the people don't care with fats, you know, like with oil, mm -hmm. like, yeah. So we really need to like um, get fat free again, definitely. Because imagine like, or like not imagine, like when you go outside, you know, like, um, and then like, what can we find there? Can we find fatty food? Not really. I mean, of course, maybe there's like a walnut tree. <laughs> but then like, I open like three nuts and then I'm bored, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're really scarce and like, it's kind of like an emergency backup food system, like fats. Like I, I, we still got like a massive bag of walnuts under the under the cupboard. That, it, yeah, like you say, it's just, it's a pain in the ass to like actually get to the, the nuts. Like, um, and I think yeah. avocados, I think they have to sit on the ground like to actually ripen after sometimes. Yeah, they need to ripen in the time. Mm. Yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 So what would but you say? Like the fat is like really thickening our blood, you know, and that's why 
of course, like when we have thin blood, then everything can function and we have like a good mood and we have energy mm -hmm. in the morning and we don't need a coffee to wake up, you know, like it's so amazing how you can really feel on a diet like that is like, yeah, but a lot of people like they don't do it, you know, like they just don't try it. And I get it, you know, like it's hard in the society and it's hard um, when you don't have like any real health issues, of course. And I also get that, you know, like why should you change when everything's working? So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. Like, what is it about fat um, that's like harmful for the body? So like you say, it thickens up your blood. And I guess like if you want blood to flow through vessels, then obviously you want it to be nice and thin and yeah, yeah just flowing through nicely. So yeah and basically the liver is the here thing you know the liver needs to digest the fats mm -hmm. and when the liver is always busy digesting fats the liver has no time to detox so but the liver is of course still filtering all the time so the liver has no time to really get rid of the toxins so the toxins get stored in the liver so and imagine like like a lot of people have never like ever had one fat free day you know there are like so many toxins stored and this is the same thing why some people like get symptoms early in life and some aren't you know because for example i think i was born with a liver that was like six percent full of toxins already and then i hit the point like when i was 13 you know liver's full no space mm -hmm. anymore and some people like they are born with like a healthy liver you know not any toxins from their parents or something you know and um they can like do a, a, an unhealthy lifestyle until they like 50, you know, and then mm -hmm. they get like maybe cancer or something, you know. Yeah. So basically, in the end, we all will get something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That does actually make sense. Because like you say, some people can like tolerate poisoning themselves for a bit longer than others. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. What, what would you say are like um, common foods that are like high in fat that uh, just say someone doesn't know they're like, okay, I want to cut out like fatty foods, but I'm just not sure what kind of foods, what, what would you say are like common ones that people eat? Mm, so yeah, are we speaking like for raw people or for like... <laughs> just for, just for mm, like, probably like, someone on a standard diet. Yeah, you know, like, um, but of course like eggs, meat, dairy, like that's all super fatty. Nuts mm. are fatty, seeds are super fatty, you know, like these are all like things that are super high in fat. And yeah, fish, meat all that stuff and of course oils you know and tofu as well like tofu is also like contains a lot of fat and of course like also like legumes like um, chickpeas they are also contain a bit of fat you know everything contains fat of course like not in such a high amount but still so and also like a banana has a bit of fat a mango but not like not much you know but this is, we're getting the fats, you know, so don't worry, like, like, we're not getting the fats, you know, a lot of people are, oh my god, I can't not be fat free. Basically, you are never fat free, you know. And durian, oh my god, durian has a lot of fat mm -hmm. <laughs> for the durian lovers here. <laughs> yeah. I know, I've heard good things about durian, but yeah, apparently it's oh quite, god, it's quite dense. Try. You have to try, you have to try. And what about hormones? Because from my understanding, um, obviously like when you go lower fat it's better for your hormones for your period for your cycle um, but a lot of people say you need fat for your hormones so exactly. what, yeah. this is what my doctor told me when I was like young and my hormones were so messed up and my period was like super strong you know I was bleeding so much and it was so uncomfortable and it's just like the detox process you know the body wants to get rid of something you know and I didn't get that at that time you know <laughs> I had just too many toxins in my body and um, yeah, so when I, then I also lost my period at that point, like when I was 18, I didn't have my period for one year. Um, and this is yeah, basically a sign from the body, okay. So I'm not able to get a child here. Uh, so yeah, pay attention, like do something, you know. And um, yeah, then I did like, uh, after one year, uh, I really like did like a three days on juice, my first three days on juice ever. And then I really... Um, yeah, I got my period back and I also like had a lot of crazy like things like also like had like sweet smell coming out of my skin. It was like, like uh, something chemical. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what this was. Yeah, yeah. but it's crazy what you experience and you know, people like they don't believe you, you know, until they start to detox themselves. Yeah, yeah no, it's very true. It's very true. I was thinking about when I did my watermelon cleanse, um, I remember like, actually tasting like curry like because I, I used to really love Indian yeah, oh food oh my god 
<laughs> yeah, things coming out. Yeah, that I also had that at the time where like yeah. my head was like smelling, yeah, like curry, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why curry? You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, you know, I love spices. I think um, this is like my my goal. Like maybe we, I don't know. There's like a raw vegan restaurant one day with like us like the Indian spices. You know, that would be awesome. You know, yeah. Mm. But you know, yeah. also, like a lot of places, like they are like vegan and all the stuff. They do everything with nuts. You know, that's also not my favorite thing because when I choose between, so when there's like a plate with a lot of nuts and seeds and or like plain potatoes, steamed potatoes, I would rather choose the steamed potatoes with some leafy greens because mm -hmm. it's fat free. You know, it's better to digest. It's better for my body, even though it's a bit dehydrating and I don't normally eat cooked foods. You know, but a lot of nuts and seeds. I like too hard to digest and yeah mm, 100 percent. yeah that's something i changed my mind on like a couple of, yeah probably a couple of years ago like initially i thought like raw you know if you're raw then it's going to be better but like you say it's, it's probably better to be like higher carbohydrate lower fat cooked like compared to yeah something really dense like nuts um yeah because yeah, especially a lot of like raw gourmet food like you were saying it's like um like flax crackers and you know loads of look nut dishes and things so, yeah maybe There's you can set up a restaurant of salt as well you know like yeah yeah maybe i can uh, <laughs> let's see <laughs> yeah yeah i think it's definitely got to be more mainstream but obviously because it doesn't sell it doesn't earn a lot of money like you know it's not like processed food then it's, it's hard but that's yeah. why we need more people spreading the message and yeah exactly. helping others People it's, really um, need to get it, you know, a lot of people just don't get it, you know, I mean, like the fish, like not the fish, the sea is empty, you know, like there are no fish left, you know, like, and also like, I don't know, I would never like, I, I would not be able to kill an animal, you know, like, and I'm definitely not waiting for a man to hunt me something, you know, <laughs> so because, you know, I have, of course, also some conversations with like, man, yeah, I'm able to like kill something, you know, like, yeah. Well, nah, I can. I'll be honest. I can. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd probably rather eat like a stinging nettle than <laughs> hunt like something. Yeah, but yeah, it's um, it's society, isn't it? Because a lot of people say like you need meat for certain nutrients and things, but it's um, yeah, I think nutrition I, world is just. Funny. I also have like some clients, of course, that are eating meat, and I think when okay when we come like to dairy and gluten and all stuff i think this is worse and also eggs is worse than yeah meat you know like from like a nutrition point of view definitely mm -hmm. so yeah yeah definitely what would you say are, like some foods that anyone should like cut out so like you said you cut out gluten dairy for me i had really bad acne when i was eating dairy um so yeah what what are like common foods that just say someone doesn't want to go like fully raw or they don't want to yeah do anything too like extreme they could just yeah, cut out. definitely gluten gluten is number one food i would also say like like oils all kinds of oils especially <laughs> seed oils um yeah dairy products i would also say corn yep. yeah and also like everything that is has no like nutrition you know like white rice there's nothing in it you know like it's just empty calories yeah mm. Why would you say corn? Is it because most of it's like GMO? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. And what about like organic versus conventional? Obviously, you're in like the Canary Islands now. It's probably a little bit different to like America. But what's your like approach with um, organic versus like yeah. conventional? I try to buy as much as organic as possible, of course. Um, but yeah, sometimes on like small islands, there's only like a small store and there's n nothing organic available then of course I have to like really like give it a good wash. <laughs> um, but yeah, I try to like, of course, I would love to grow my own food, basically. This is my dream, you know, like I want to have my own land and I want to plant my fruit trees and then I want to pick some fruits in the morning. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think a lot of people who have been on this lifestyle a little while, they can resonate with that because um, I say similar things and some people are like, oh, but there's more to life but it's not saying you just want to do that all day but it's it's a nice it's nice to yeah i, th I think it's nice yeah, Some, there's something about growing your own food you know, like yeah i don't need much you know i need like the sun the stars a juicer <laughs> you know i don't need more 
Yeah. I was going to ask you about juice, actually. So do you still, like, do the celery juice? Um, do you do that daily? Or? Yeah, yeah, or the lemon ginger blast. I love to start my day with the green juice. Um, yeah, but I like both. And depends what my body wants. Yeah. Mm. Would you recommend, like, everyone maybe start their day with, like, something hydrating, like a juice? or Yeah, coconut that... water, of course, or lemon water. And then a uh, green juice, definitely. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because is that to do with like the liver, like um, how it's more like detoxifying earlier on in the day? That's what I remember medical medium talking about. But Exactly. And the lemon water is like giving the liver a little hint. Let's go. We detox today. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it's really like there's also like when you like drink it for a time, you will feel that there's like mucus coming out in the morning mm. like, when you drink it for a time. Yeah. Yeah. And for anyone who doesn't know, like um, the mucus response, what? What, why does the body like produce mucus and yeah or or when you get rid of it like what is it a sign is it a sign of like toxins coming out is it a sign like yeah yeah like um it's just you know like all these all, also like chickpeas they are also like mucus forming foods you know it's not you know like when you have like strep or something strep bacteria for example the strep can easier like survive in that environment like when there's mucus you know it's just like um yeah of course it's just yeah comfortable for them you know like for bacteria and all that stuff mm. and yeah mm. yeah exactly especially when it's in like an acidic state but i think people often forget that like their words can be acidic as well like their thoughts can be like negative thoughts can be acidic like if you're not exercising so what what other kind of things do you personally like incorporate to just stay healthy like the sun the sun is so important yeah. and the thing is you know like people get the sunburn because they are like really like there's a lot of acid like in the body you know like a lot of um, mucus forming foods you know and when you really cleanse out your body you can like stay in the sun like forever and it has nothing to do with your skin type you know like you can just I can just like be in the sun I don't need a sunscreen you know and mm -hmm. I don't need to protect myself from nature you know <laughs> so but of yeah. course we need to protect ourselves from nature when we're not eating natural foods so it makes sense you know like of course the sun is reacting and also um, when you have a lot of heavy metals you also like get a sunburn very easily definitely so mm -hmm. um yeah the cleaner you will yeah get the longer you can stay in the sun yeah mm. you're making me jealous though we don't really have much sun <laughs> this time of year yeah, this so would you recommend like just say someone's living in a colder country would you recommend um some supplements <laughs> with like vitamin d <laughs> yeah if they <laughs> <laughs> other than crying <laughs> what can they do Sh should they like supplement with vitamin d or yeah d3 uh, yeah this can be very helpful definitely yeah yeah i would yeah. yeah so um i think like some supplements are really good like in some cases and um i mean a supplement cannot really heal you you know like you cannot cannot expect okay if i add this and this and this and this then i will heal and not really, because the body is the own healer, you know, uh, but supplements can be very helpful, especially also enzymes when you have like um, a weak digestion and then like it's so nice when you take enzymes before eating, you know, it's just like, yeah, taking away like mm. the work from your body, you know, it's just like pre-digesting, you know, it's so nice. Yeah, I've seen Lou Corona use them. I'm sure you've seen yeah. Lou Corona because he look he looks very young for his age. I think he's in seventies or something. But yeah, he's seventy three. I think it's wow. Amazing. You know, yeah. I met him in person. He's like the nicest guy I've ever met. You know, he's like so so humble, so grounded, and he's like so connected. I think he also had like a period of time where he didn't speak at all. Like, I don't know, for some years. You know, he was like just not. Sp yeah. <laughs> That's wild for me. <laughs> mm, yeah, I couldn't do that. I like talking too much, but yeah. It's, yeah, um... but this is also a goal of mine. I want to go to like a water fasting retreat for 21 days with like no speaking. Yeah, I wow. think that would be, that would be life changing as well. Because, you know, like when I do a water fast by myself, I always like, there's always like something to do, you know. I think mm. then I, need, I really need to go somewhere to not speak. <laughs> yeah. For <But>, like, <laughs> shut up. Yeah. yeah it's very true because in our modern world we've just got so many distractions it's like it's rare we actually it's rare someone will like sit down for 10 minutes close their eyes and like meditate or just listen to their thoughts it's, yeah it's, um, it's also hard for me you know like the best thing like a friend of mine she told me i should like not go on my phone in the morning <laughs> and that's like that's so good i mean it's such a simple advice but it's so powerful when you just not check on your phone in the morning and when you mm. just like open your phone like at 
1 p.m. or something. It's like, it's powerful. <laughs> yeah, I used to do it, but when you've got like clients or people that you're kind of expecting messages from, you, you exactly. yeah. Especially, yeah. you know, like I do sometimes like water fasting with people online or like a lot oh, of yeah. plans and I need to be available then, you know, it's, yeah. <laughs> Can't have anyone dying just because you don't want to check your phone. <laughs> Oh, I'm busy. I'm doing my <laughs> meditation right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, like, and also with the sun, it's just, well, people have worshipped the sun for, like, thousands of years, and it's it's just a shame, isn't it, with all the fear mongering and, yeah. Yeah. The sun it's is, like, like, yeah, it's not gone bad, you know, like, the sun is always there, you know, like. <laughs> mm. But I think you said something quite important earlier, just how when you get more clean internally, then you can tolerate it more. It's something I found as well. Um, yeah. So yeah, what what kind of things should people be doing to like clean themselves out um, from yeah these heavy metals? Because I've heard a lot about heavy metals. But... Yeah, mm, there are different um, things that could help. It depends. Um, so the heavy metal detox smoothie for medical medium is really powerful. Um, but yeah, I think also clean slate works really good. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and sea light. So I think these are like the things that are, like really, and of course like spirulina, seaweed. It's like really getting out of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. What What's clean slate? Is it like a tincture kind of thing? Mm -hmm. or? It's kind of like a liquid uh, supplement. Yeah, it really helped me so much with my allergies back in the days. And mm -hmm. also like, um, yeah, to just eliminate some things, you know, it was, it was really good, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so would you say like people could actually improve like their allergies? And I know you said about um, histamine intolerance before, mm -hmm. things like that. Is that, can that be done through like um, diet or through yeah, cleansing? Yeah, how cleansing, yeah. I was like really histamine intolerant. I, you know, I couldn't eat like oranges and I was like reacting. And mm. that's why I really like, I get the clients who tell me, oh my God, I cannot tolerate these fruits. Like my body's not like doing this. You know, and I really get it because I've been there too, you know, I was like, I couldn't like tolerate it. And it really has something to do with the toxins in your body. Like your body is reacting, like just like a chemical process. And then you're like feeling, oh my God, I have like stomach cramps, you know, and all. But in fact, it's just like, yeah, kind of cleansing reaction, you know, to it. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, I guess people might be curious, like um, what a typical day looks like for you. Like maybe, yeah, things you enjoy doing or like what a typical day yeah. of eating looks like. Obviously, it changes. We're not like robots, but yeah. Yeah, um, I would say, okay, every day I wake up and normally I put an ice cube in my face and let, <laughs> like just wake up with an ice cube in my face. Uh, because, you know, I don't like cold showers because of the ad adrenaline and I'm just not a cold person, you know. I, I'm a beach person, you know, I love, I also was, I was at the beach one hour ago, you know, I love the beach. <laughs> I can be there like the whole day. Um, yeah, but I'm not a cold person, so... Um, that's why I keep in the face and then I wake up, then I drink my lemon water, then I do some stretching exercises and they also, I also do like some voice exercising <laughs> because I just like, like to warm up um, everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then I usually work a bit with my green juice, with my celery juice or my lemon ginger blast and yeah, then I normally meet friends or at the moment I have like some projects, you know. I. I'm wanting to like get my podcast going like and I also have an ebook that I'm writing right now and yeah then I at the moment go to the beach and meet some friends and in the evening I also have client calls again so because of the time zones as well mm -hmm. so yeah and in the evening I stretch normally and then I read something <laughs> yeah mm. Yeah, I think it's good to have some sort of like wind down routine in the evening because there's just so much stimulation throughout the day. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know, I know, I know, definitely. And you know, when I also like, I got like two phones, I got like a client phone, and then it's like so much screen time and then here my my laptop and here the phone and there the phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what time do you normally like go to bed? Because um, I know some people recommend getting like really early nights, like 8 p.m., but I can't personally do that. I think like 10 yeah, p.m., 10.30 no, I mean, for me. The thing is for me, I'm really creative at night time, you mm. know, because like everything, everyone is sleeping and I'm really creative. Like, you know, sometimes I'm awake until two or three, depends like when I'm like just creative or doing something, you know, and I have like, yeah, just some creative processes in my mind, you know, and then I'm like, just, yeah, I'm definitely not a morning person. So I'm an evening person. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I think 
I think definitely it helps, like especially when you, for example, do like a fast and then you reset your body, then you will like sleep in at 7 p.m. or something. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's, it's also good, you know, but then sometimes like when you really do like water fasting, you're awake at like, uh, I don't know, 3 a.m. and then you can't sleep anymore. Mm. You know, and then, okay, what, what can I do now, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And would you recommend like someone does like complete rest when they're fasting or because I know some people, they run, they work out like no, not when we're fasting. No, 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 no. Just relax because every energy you put in something else, the, like the body has no time to like really mm. get rid of things, you know, like and normally we like especially when we are beginner, we we feel tired, we want to sleep a lot. And that's really helpful because when you sleep, the body can do the work, you know, so basically yeah just rest when you water fasting and then i mean of course like when you really like done like i don't know 11 or 12 water fast then you can like maybe <laughs> go for a hike or something you know and it's nice you know like to do something and to actually have energy on a water fast that's awesome mm. yeah and then like when you are in the refeeding process you really notice oh my god i don't need much food i i can like i can survive on like two apples a day and I have like plenty of energy, you know, we just like overeating all the time. Like it's, it's crazy. We don't need much to really like function. In. Mm. Yeah. I've heard some people say like, when, once you get cleaner as well, you don't need as much food because your digestive system's like more efficient. Things it's a bit like that. Bad, you know, I love to eat. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. I, mean? I don't, yeah. it's, yeah. um, yeah, I think, I think the volume of food that you need to eat as well, when it's lower calories, like higher yeah. water content, a lot of people, they they still like they feel really full but they're not actually eating like that much compared to their other lifestyle um yeah, yeah it's it's difficult um just another thing on fasting do you add like salt or electrolytes to your like water water only fasting definitely mm -hmm. yeah because no no salt dehydr dehydrates you so and it's also like ages you faster so no i'm not a big fan of salt Mm. Oh, yeah. And when it's you have like avoided it like for a certain period of time, you really like feel the difference. And then when you have like a bit of salt, you're like addicted to everything. Oh my God, it's crazy, you know? Like it just changes your taste buds. It's crazy, you know? Everything tastes good with salt, you know? For example, like you have an avocado and the avocado is not really ripe. And then you put salt in it and then you can eat it, you know? Like, and then, but your body told you in the first place, I don't need that avocado right now. It doesn't taste good to me, you know, like, because we, yeah, we just put salt on it and everything tastes good with salt. Imagine like cheese without salt, Ooh. Ooh. you know, or soy without salt, you know, it's, it's mm. not, it's not good, you know, it's just not good. And our body's telling us, telling you, like you all the time, I don't need that. And then we put more salt on it. Mm. Yeah. It's so addictive, isn't it? Like you say, it's, yeah, um... it's crazy. <laughs> and what about, um, traveling for you? Obviously you travel a lot. Have you got any tips to like stay healthy uh, when you travel? Because I know a lot of people when they um, travel abroad or whatever, they just kind of, they let their good habits slip a little bit. Um, yeah, so but yeah. I think this is because of the other people they are traveling with. So basically mm. they want to be social and then they want, the other people maybe want to go out, they want to party, you know, and then they join, you know, and they drink alcohol. You know, for me, it's like alcohol, is, it's so boring, you know, like I can like, I can go out, I can dance, I have a lot of fun, and I drink a juice before, you know, so it's it's amazing, you know, I, I think, yeah, um, yeah, so basically, what would be here my tip, travel with good friends, <laughs> with the same lifestyle, I think this is like the best advice I can give you, because when you have like the same eating habits, oh my god, like, oh, it's so relaxing, it's so amazing, it's just, yeah, it's just perfect. Mm. <laughs> you know, I, for me with my sister, you know, I was with her in Bali and I was, um, I did like a 14 days on water and, you know, of course she always wanted to go out eating, you know, and of course I joined her all the time and then I ordered the water for me. You know, it's, it's possible, of course, it's possible, but yeah, but you have like, yeah, you need to know what you want, you know, and that's, I think, where a lot of people also like really fail with the diet because they're focusing, oh, okay, I want to be this, I want to be that, you know. I want to be that label, I want to be that identity, you know, and then they really fail because um, you cannot really focus on, on a, go you have to have like a big vision. Why? Why are you doing it? You know, the why needs to be on point, you know, and then you can stick to it when the why is like, yeah. Mm. 
yeah exactly having a reason why is, is um is, is huge having a sense of purpose like it kind of gives you energy in the morning as well just to because a lot a lot of people uh, sometimes it's not even the food they're eating while they're groggy and tired in the morning it's because like you know their day just doesn't have meaning um exactly yeah, it's, so how did you find your um why or sense of purpose was it through like cleansing because i know some people say like they did like an extended juice feast or something and then they found their sense of purpose so how, yeah. how did you find it i think that's that can be really helpful like to just like go inside and see what's there what fasting fasting helps so much for like to find a meaning for you and also like i would i would ask me the question okay what would i do when like money there's like when i have a lot of money you know like basically what would i do then with my life and i think this is the best thing you know, I would I would do the same. I would still like coach people online, <laughs> and I would uh, coach people live, and I would travel. You know, I don't need more. You know, and I want to live somewhere in like the tropics or subtropics. So this is this is it for me basically. Um, yeah, but I think it can really help to like fast and yeah find your meaning. Like, what do you want in life? Mm. Yeah, definitely. And what other kind of like modalities and things do you use? Because I, I saw you did like astrology. Um, I don't know too much about that, but and <laughs> yes. how does that work? Mm, oh my God, I'm a, such a big astrologer. <laughs> I love astrology. <laughs> you know, I think it's such a such a nice tool to just, it's like looking at your clock, you know, like you can just see like what time is it basically, like what in what kinds of areas in life you have troubles a bit at the moment and in what scares of life there's luck this year you know it's just a nice thing to know the transits to know the planets to just um yeah and to also like to understand other people you know and especially it helped me a lot with health because um i like the sixth house is like for health and when you have like transits in the sixth house that are not really beneficial you will have like these troubles going on a certain period of time you know and you can kind of see that in astrology so it's really nice mm. and then you can also like for example like um you have also like astro mapping it's more like with travel astrology you can see okay which places are good for me to live here or to like make these experience yeah it's really nice mm, what is your star sign <laughs> what'd you say what is your star sign, star sign? Uh, uh libra okay yes yeah, nice. october yeah. yeah, I don't know too much about it, but I know like my sister's quite big into it, and yeah. Yeah, but you know we have like a rising sign. There's a moon sign. You know, like a lot of people think, okay, we don't are ask me. Sign. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too well versed in it, but I, I did get like a numerology reading one time, and mm -hmm. I know that's different to astrology. Yeah. But he also said about like certain countries are good to visit, and like in certain times of the year and things. So yeah, it's fascinating. It's um. Uh, yeah, I don't know too much about it, but I'm always open, like open minded, I think. Yeah. Mm. And I also do a lot of uh, like emotional work, you mm -hmm. know, because I struggled a lot with binge eating in the past and with emotional eating. And this has actually nothing to do with food. <laughs> and a lot of people think, oh my God, it's the food, it's the food. And I just need to be more strict. And no, 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 you just need to solve your issues. You just need to mm. solve your trauma and your old emotions. And also you need to like really meet your needs. So this is the big thing here, like to really, what do you need? And um, yeah, so and yeah. that's why, yeah, I love to like really work with the people on the emotional stuff and do like also um, something for the self-worth because like when we get sick, our self-worth is also like breaking apart, you know? And uh, of course, you know, like, I like, it was like horrible for me, you know, like to just like, lose my body, to gain weight, to just like have all these symptoms, you know, I felt like I always wanted to hide my clothes, you know, it was, it was not easy. And also like to, because no one was like really knowing what's going on. I didn't share too much with my friends, you know, because I was like, I have no idea what's going on. I don't have an idea why I'm bloated all the time. And you know, my mom or like my grandma, they would always say, yeah, it's the diet. Of course you have this because you eat so many fruits, you know? <laughs> so this, this is like wild, you know? People are crazy. People are crazy, you know? Mm. But of course, yeah, everyone like, is like that, you know, who never ever done a detox. Yeah, exactly. I think a lot of the criticism comes from those who haven't maybe experienced these things. Um, and it's easy to judge, but yeah. yeah. It's, uh, 
how do you do you have like any tools or methods you use to kind of uncover like the um, subconscious like mm -hmm. trauma or emotions or yeah. yes and um, there's PEP coaching PEP is processed embodiment um, psychology and there you can really go to like the deep um, deep things where you're not like really able to like the unconscious basically so the things that are like really stuck there and we can find out okay um, why is it not working so um, for example you want to be healthy and why why is it not working what is like blocking here and um, so it's more like for the psychology uh, and then I also do shaking medicine I learned this amazing technique in um, Australia and it's such a great tool to get rid of trauma and stored emotion. Um, you can see it with an animal, like an animal kingdom, you know, like when animals have something like, when they experience something traumatic, they lay down and they like, they start, start to shiver basically, like to shake, you know, like. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have this, this, this mechanism. We can also like activate it and then we can like really let go of, um, like a lot of stored things and it's not like because a lot of people think okay it's like shaking it's like hippie shaking you're just jumping around no no not at all it's not at all like that it's really like it's really can be like so emotional and you can cry you can like it depends like how often you do it but i would say at least you should do like like 10 sessions with it and it can it can be really transforming because you mm. feel so grounded after it and you really feel like oh my god my body's like, like my body's starting to shake, and I don't do anything. You know what's what's going on? You know, like my body's like letting go of something, and that's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. And is the is the pep coaching? Is it similar to like hypnotherapy or, or no, things like all. that? No, not at all. No, no, no. But I also like uh, did like hyp hypnosis for myself, like when I was younger, and I was like, for the look for answers. But um, no, it's um, it's a bit also like with tapping in certain areas, like that you like really regulate your nervous system. But it's more about like um, yeah, beliefs, unconscious beliefs that okay. you like have and you don't know about it. You know. So for example, when you think. Um, Maybe there's like an unconscious belief that you think, okay, I'm not worthy, worthy enough to be healthy. And when we have that belief, you will, you can do whatever you want with your diet, you know, because the belief is so strong there. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah. Cause the self-sabotage, like you say, a lot of it's limiting beliefs and unconscious beliefs is, um, yeah. Cause a lot of people know what to do. A lot of people know if they just even eat whole foods, they're going to feel a lot better. But like you say, it's, it's those beliefs. Um, are there any other habits that you like personally do just to stay strong mentally or to like improve yourself or to anything you feel like, oh, people should try this because it will really benefit their life? Yeah, I think it's great to have like something kind of a routine, you know, like habits, daily habits. I think this is super powerful. Maybe you read, read the book Atomic Habits. <laughs> yeah. I think this is like, oh. A must read for everyone um, yeah just to like um, focus on what do you want in life like where do you want to go where do you want to be in 10 years and then do something for it like daily for example when you ask yourself okay I want to be a healthy person and then you can ask yourself okay is a healthy person eating this here what's on my plate right now you know like just like ask yourself these questions don't lie to yourself like basically because we love to lie to ourselves all the, all the time with everything like oh my god i'm on a period okay um excuse i can binge today you know i can have like this it's only today you know we just like yeah and i think like when you really have like strong habits and when you know where to go when you know what you want then you can like really like build your habits and like um yeah like, or for example, you want to be a leader. Okay, then act like the le like a leader today. You know, you like you cannot expect to be a leader in ten years if you don't. Yeah, you need to start now. So this is the yeah, start now. <laughs> this is the message. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's very true. The, the sad thing is, most people like they will watch like a Netflix show for like an hour or two, but they won't sit down just and write down like a future vision or or some goals or anything like that for like ten minutes. It's, uh, it's um. Yes, yeah. like distraction, isn't like it? Rid of the TV. I also don't have a TV. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's a good I idea. It's a, such a waste of time. You know, of course, there are some good movies, of course, you know, some good series, but like, what for? You know, like, I think a book's like so much more inspiring or like an audiobook when you just like put it in your ears and then you go for a walk, then you have like some movement and yeah, mm -hmm. it's just like so much more empowering than like just watching 
something that is not real, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I think exercise and movement, like you say, is like really important as well. Sometimes people think like they can just have the best diet and just sit around and meditate all day. But it's, um, yeah, what kind of like exercise do you enjoy? Mm, oh my God, I love all kinds of like, I love yoga for like just my mind. Also like yin yoga, especially like for stretching. Mm -hmm. um, I love like group workouts as well. In Germany, we have something that's called Beat 81. Maybe you've heard of it, I don't know. No. It's no. so nice. It's like a group workout. And I think it's really motivating if you have like a circle kind of thing. And um, your heart rate is like, uh, it It should be higher than 81, you know. Like, it's it's just nice, you know. Oh, okay. like, it's just like, it's really motivating to have like a coach or something. And of course, I do like at home some exercises, you know. I also have on YouTube, I have like some, <laughs> you know, I have two like workout videos, you know. Like, I like to do stuff at home, you know, because I'm also like traveling so much and... Um, yeah, but, um, yeah, Pilates, yoga, I love all of that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I tried Pilates for the first time the other month. It's quite, it's quite fun actually. Wow. Um, <laughs> Did yeah. you try with the reformer with the thing? You know? Yeah. The, is that wow. what it's called? Is that what it's called? The, the kind of, uh, yeah. equipment. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. It was me, my dad and my granddad. It was, it was quite funny. It was oh my group, God, that's so group cool. session, <laughs> but yeah, it's surprisingly, um, uh, good for the like the core isn't it it's, it's good holding yeah, those positions amazing. Mm. Yeah. yeah it's um i think it's it's like the whole package with health holistic because often people want to fixate on like one thing but yeah so you've got like your juice fasting water fasting um, raw food exercise um is there anything else you you feel like is important to be healthy or just to have fun in life as well because it's uh yeah, I think it's important, like, to not not really push, you know, like, because, you know, in the past I was, like, very, I also had, like, OCD. This was also something I could, like, detox, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. So from, like, obsessive thoughts and, like, from all the stressing around food and, like, you know, now I have really, like, food freedom and this is so important to not, like, um, have, like, like, a fear of food of, like like a special like for example i want my clients to be able to sit on a table and on the table there's pasta pizza raw food and everything you know and that they choose because they know okay for my body i want this right now because it's the best for me right now and that's why i choose the raw food and but it's nothing will happen if i eat the pizza you know but i won't choose it you know basically mm -hmm. like that so because the food fear is also like really damaging like when you have like oh my god i can eat this and this and i need to be so strict and yeah then you will yeah have like stomach cramps all the time because like your mind is driving you crazy so i think this is like really important and yeah just um just go with the flow just like learn from life and just like not push you know like trees you know like they grow they never push you know like they just grow and i think mm -hmm. we can also like just like learning from life from other people just trying to like spread love where we can and uh, just try to be a good person every day. I think this, this is what everyone should do. And then our plan would change. Yeah. Mm, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And like you say, the rigidity and the, the kind of like mental boxes and like, yeah, it can create suffering as well. And it's, it's amazing. Like you said, when you have all the choices, you can eat whatever food you want, but then you choose you choose to eat what what feels best for your body like and yeah. what's going to reward you and when once you cleaned out you really like your body's craving that mm. like you yeah, really exactly. want that it's not like that it's like oh my god I'm, it's so hard for me i need to be like so strict of course like it's always like challenging for example like on christmas for example of course everyone eats cooked around me and um but okay then i will bring my own food so you know and yeah we have to like yeah just know what we want you know <laughs> mm, definitely are there any other um supplements that you take um like b12 or anything enzymes like that? yeah b12 once in a while but if we have like when so when we have like a healthy digestive system our body can produce our own b12 but that's not really the case for like most of people and that's why it's useful to like really supplement like b12 mm. But, um, yeah, so once in a while, like, I take supplements when my body needs it, you know, like, I like vitamin C, especially for the skin, and just, like, for, like, overall, like, immune system, and especially, like, for women, it matters, because they have, like, a period, the immune system's dropping one, one time, basically, and once a month, and I also like, um, yeah, all, like, these mushroom powders, I like, I love seaweed, spirulina, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, I also love amino acids to um, supplement. 
Yeah. Yeah, cool. Is is the like seaweed and spirulina and that is that or the seaweed predominantly for like iodine? Um mm, yes as well, but also like to get like just rid of stuff and like to have like Okay. Yeah. yeah just like you know, like in Bali there's like fresh spirulina. Oh my god, it tastes so good. Oh my god, it's like a paste, you know, it's not a powder. It's like a paste and it's so good. Yeah, and you mm. can put it like in nori sheets and like then wrap it up, you know? It's amazing. <laughs> I love I love seaweed. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely got to go to Bali. It looks amazing, Alex. My well, you know Alex, don't you? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's um, is that is that somewhere you could see yourself living like more like tropical, or are you do you prefer Europe? Because I think there's advantages to both kind of places. But yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, so I love Bali. Um, yeah, I th I think if I would not have like a project here, I would like uh, definitely go to like a tropical uh, yeah area, but. Yeah, my goal is to find something here because, you know, I want to like start um, a place where the people like where I can work like more in life with the people here. Mm -hmm. So the people can come and they can do like a water fast here with me. So that's why I'm fo focusing on like having land here and like that they don't need to fly like, you know, like so much, you know. Yeah. Because when you're sick, you you want like step into the plane and okay, let's go for the, <laughs> the 20 hours flight, you know. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's fully understandable. Yeah, I think um, Spain's quite nice as well. We've, yeah, it's, but it's um, cold in winter, you know. Especially yeah. for the coast, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, there was one other thing when you said about like um, hormones and like periods and things. Um, how about like menopause? Is what have you got any tips for like women going through the menopause? Um, Obviously, I'm not. Obviously, you're far too young for the menopause, but any <laughs> clients or, or anyone yeah. like that. So the thing is, that's funny because Anthony Williams said there is no menopause. Mm -hmm. It's just like an overworked liver and overworked organs, and just like everything's like, it's just like too much, too much of toxins everywhere in the body, and then you get symptoms, and it makes sense to me. And I also think, um, I think like a like I think you won't have troubles like especially like now now i don't have any troubles with my period you know it's regular it's like short it's not like bothering me at all you know and i think it's the same like when you like lose it again you know it's just like okay now it's gone maybe you know mm. but who knows maybe you will have it like longer i have no idea you know um but i think yeah really it's um yeah just just like too many toxins imagine like if you eat like fat every day then okay then you're 45 of course Mm. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly because i hear a lot of people it's it's hard because I, I get it but it's like a bit victim um, mentality like oh everyone suffers in the menopause and it's like mm, i don't i don't think that should be the case like i don't think yeah. humans are meant to suffer like yeah, no no not really no not at all mm -hmm. awesome um is there anything else you want to touch on before we jump into the rapid fire questions no i think no i think yeah, I'm good. All ready to go. Okay. Um, so yeah, rapid fire questions. Just try answer as quick as you can. But if you need to elaborate, <laughs> say that again. It's quick. Okay, I will. <laughs> but if you need to elaborate, feel free to okay, yeah. elaborate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's your favorite fruit? At the moment, persimmons. Mm, yeah, nice. Describe yourself in one word. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what is one book that everyone needs to read um, oh my god um Arnold Ehrend water fasting your mucus mm. diet okay nice yeah i've read the mucus diet but what's the other one called what water fasting or, uh, yeah or it's like it... they're like different versions but basically uh yeah awesome um what's the best piece of advice that you've ever received to go with the flow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think we could all do with doing that a bit more sometimes. <laughs> what are three things that you can't live without? Oh, I think I answered that before. Sun, stars, and a juicer. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got any juicer recommendations? Um, I like Nama Hurum and Angel Juicer. Mm, cool. What's your greatest strength and what's your biggest weakness? 
Weakness, Perfectionism <laughs> and Strength, Empathy. Mm. Nice. Do you believe in having a purpose? If so, what's your purpose in life? Yes, my purpose is to help people to heal. Mm. Yeah, we need more healers in the world, definitely. Um, what are you grateful for today? For the sun and for the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome. And yeah, um, where can the people find you? What have you got going on? Um, yeah, where? Yeah, um, in Instagram mainly or on my website, rajasifit.com. And yeah, I'm um, also like doing a podcast too, but I think it will be in German. <laughs> um, and then I will also like be more active on YouTube again. So, and I will having an ebook coming up for some recipes, some more, yeah, some fat-free recipes, no nuts and seeds. <laughs> and yeah, and also like um, in January, there's like a cleanse coming up, like a live cleanse with live calls with Vanessa. Um, yeah, she's like a female coach and she's like doing something for the nervous system and I do like the nutrition part. And yeah, we will have like one month in January where you can like really go into it. And like, I think the community is the most important thing, like mm. that other people are like going with you the same road and going the detox specification, yeah. Awesome, yeah, I'll put them all down below in the description and yeah. Thanks everyone for listening this far. If you made it this far, <laughs> then I appreciate so it. <laughs> Thank you for the conversation and enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Peace and love. Bye.